Ngā mihi ki o tātou ka hanga, nā 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 mea katoa e hanga, ngā mate o te motu o Aotearoa, haire, 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 ko tātou te hongo ora, nō reira tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tērā tātou katoa. Now, I'm sure many of you parents out there have had heard at least one of these in the last few years, and that is, school sucks. It's boring, it's long, it's tedious, it's painstakingly annoying, it's tiring, and it seems to take up so much time. I wake up early, get to school, work for six hours, maybe do training or rehearsal, get home, do homework, and then repeat the entire thing again for another four more days. It sucks. Kia ora and good evening. My name is Michael Wassel, head boy here at Te Kura Tūru o Ngā Taitama Tāne o Ururoto, Westlake Boys High School. Now, why I started with the whole school sucks shtick, it's to tell you that school doesn't actually suck. As a matter of fact, it's what you do in those six hours. What you do in between times during school and after school, what you do on the weekends during intervals and lunches, what you do on the weekends, and most importantly, what you do before school and when you wake up. It's ceasing those moments. It's how you actually start Seizing those moments, that's how you make the start of the most amazing high school career. Have a bit more fun, enjoy the day, wake up with a smile, and you're more likely to learn something in the process. Now, I haven't come from tons. I know fancy getaway holidays to Europe, no fishing ventures or jet ski outings on the weekends. I was a quiet, skinny little kid who grew up in the heart of a small, out of the way suburb, Uruamo Beach Haven. I went to small, low decile schools, a Beach Haven Primary School and Birkdale Intermediate. I was in and amongst at most about 400 kids. I was shy, had average grades, didn't quite do amazingly in academic achievements. I had few friends. I didn't really know what the term or phrase to be out there actually meant. And I was content in my own little bubble, my own little world. Then I reached the gates of a school that I had absolutely no desire to be at whatsoever. The Grand Takura Tūrunga Taitama Tāne o Ururoto, Westlake Boys High School. 2,500 kids, over 200 staff, over 100 different courses, Desal 9 school, a campus that had to be at the very least double the size of any school that I'd ever previously been at, and I quite literally knew no one. I didn't want to be there, and it was so big. The skinny little quiet kid from little old Beach Haven was way out of his depths. However, being at a school I didn't originally want to be at, it actually made me a better person. The more I become involved in school life and the more I talk to people, the more I wanted to be here. The more I felt at home, the more I felt like a whānau. I become more involved, I worked hard to achieve excellences across the board, attempted scholarship papers in year 12, been part of amazing teams and stellar casts. I've come to top three in many different comps, learnt so much inside and outside of the classroom, and it has brought me here today to stand here and speak as a 2022 head boy. What is and has been the most important thing here at Westlake for me isn't to learn the most, isn't to be the smartest, be on top of everything, or even be the most spoken in class, but to have the most experiences and the most opportunities. This is being taking part in different teams, being part of new initiatives, traveling the country for different comps, or learning from experienced people and things that I love. It's also about making a bunch of friends, meet a ton of people, go out and do things out of your comfort zone, like join some clubs, go and talk to random people around the campus, talk to your teachers, ask questions, be actively involved in, in everything, and be hungry to do anything and everything, no matter how scary it may seem. Because for me, I needed to be participating in everything, and being actively involved in everything, because I never knew actually what was going to come from it. So, my encouragement to all of you guys out there is, Fill those six hours a day, five days a week, 205 days a year with experiences. Go and hang out, meet and talk with new people at interval or lunch. Go to a sports match or a school performance or on the weekends. Go and hang out with some friends. Join a club. Help out a teacher. Sit next to someone new on the bus. Talk to them and don't wake up with the attitude of, ugh, school. Wake up with the attitude of, how am I going to make today amazing? What can I do to make today interesting? Now something that I said years ago was that it's not the teachers and the subject that's actually boring, it's your attitude towards the subject and how you interact with what's happening to make it boring. So yes, high school does suck, sometimes, but what are you going to do about it? In fact, three years ago I had said a speech in a different competition that I am going to be the 2022 head boy of Westlake Boys High School. And look where I am now. Thank you.
Hello, I am Alexander Wilson and I am one of the deputy head boys for 2022 this year. I started off my Westlake journey in 2018 as a wee little fellow with big dreams. I was placed in B Stream and I worked hard in my first year which resulted in me um, becoming part of the A Stream in year 10. The two most academic skills that I learned as a junior was the importance of keeping up with my homework and to study to complete my exams well. When I reached NCEA Level 1, I started taking extension subjects and these required a lot more time and focus, but I was able to achieve the grades that I wanted to in Year 11 and 12. Now I'm in my final year at Westlake and I have my long-term goal of going to med school, which I know I will need to stay focused on these little things that will add up to go towards the big goal. But school is not just about what you learn in the classroom. By being involved in clubs, sports and activities, there are other aspects of yourself that are developed as well. I play the bassoon and I sing, so I've been a member of the orchestra, concert bands, symphonic bands and choirs since year nine. Playing in these groups and learning from their directors has enabled me to develop my passion for music and have given me the skills and confidence to play in groups outside of school. With music, I've been able to travel all around New Zealand and even to other countries such as Italy. I've been playing in the New Zealand Secondary School Orchestra, I've played in the New Zealand Symphonic Wind, and this year I'm playing in the Auckland University Orchestra. And it's really, it's really fun playing with different levels of playing all throughout Westlake. Physical exercise has also been an important part of my life as it helps me stay healthy and well balanced. I've been a competitive swimmer since the age of 10 and it's been another way I can contribute to the Westlake life. The Westlake Swim Club is very strong and the teams have won the secondary school champs for the past two years. This year I am the swim captain and I'm looking forward to leading the team in the competitions this year. Even if swimming may not be your sport, I would highly recommend joining a physical exercise group such as social badminton or even the even a premier group. As you can imagine, I have lots of time, I have a lot of time commitments to manage. Swim training takes around 20 hours a week. Music rehearsals, homework and family and friends, plus a part-time job at Countdown also adds up to my busy week. Time management and getting enough sleep are the two biggest challenges for me. Times that I've experienced challenges along the way have generally been when I've overstretched myself and tried to take sneaky shortcuts. My alarm goes off at five o'clock in the morning and I have to make sure I'm in bed at a reasonable time to get a good amount of sleep so I can function well physically and mentally the next day. When I don't prioritize my sleep, my life gets a bit bumpy. My relationship with friends and family suffer and I don't hit the targets I want to hit throughout the day. Getting organized is something I always do the night before as it avoids difficulties in the morning, especially when your brain isn't functioning at five o'clock. Creating timetables for study before exams or plotting out your internal assessments on your calendar is also really important. I always know when every test, competition and performance is and that way I can plan and be able to do my best in every area. Another bump is friendships. Making friends at high school is really tricky. Part of the adolescence is learning who you are, which means sometimes you have to go through rough patches with your friends and work things out. Getting involved in clubs and sports at school can really open your friends groups up. You'll meet like-minded people who enjoy the same things as you, which is a great way to start friendships. Keeping friendships can be really challenging at times, but sometimes you learn to grow in different directions as you change your views and perspective on the world. The question I was asked by Jake, who's a year nine, was, do you have to be a lot of badges to be a prefect? I would say no, but it's because the national rep badges represent a team effort to me. It's more than just my individual success. In my music groups and swim teams, there are lots of layers of support that I rely on, from the directors, coaches, or for even from my peers. Now I'm a year 13, and I want to be an effective leader in these areas for the next students coming through. I really believe that school is what you make of it if you take the opportunities on offer and you can discover what you're really capable of. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Hunter. I'm one of the uh, two deputy head boys here at Westlake Boys and I'm also the academic captain for 2022. You may just know me as just one of the senior prefects here, but I'm quite involved in a lot of different things and I wear a lot of different hats in my time here at Westlake Boys. Uh, one of the main things I've been involved here uh, throughout my time at Westlake since about year 10 was being part of the Westlake Boys debating team, which has allowed me to not only learn a lot about the world and how to like write better and form better arguments, but also just to uh, get to know a lot more people from around the Auckland area. 
There's also been things in, in my Westlake experience that I didn't expect to get involved with, with things like choir, things like being involved in some of the service groups here at Westlake Boys. There were a lot of the th these were a lot of the things that we didn't have in primary and intermediate, but there were sort of opportunities that sort of just fell into sort of my path and I just sort of took them up. I guess to start where it all started then for me and my Westlake journey, I came from Ponsonby Intermediate School, which is over the bridge, and so coming here to Westlake Boys, there weren't a lot of uh, people that I knew coming into the school. There were probably about six or seven boys coming in, so it was kind of just a little fish and sort of a really big pond here at a school of 2,500 students. It was a daunting thing in one way because it meant that a lot of the support structures, um, a lot of like my personality and like who I was as a person that I developed at Intermediate was all pretty much lost at high school. But losing that also gave me the opportunity, I think, to really think about who I wanted to be as a person, to question what I've done uh, in previous, and to sort of try something new. And I'd say to all the junior boys that are watching it here today, don't, at least in your first couple of years, feel too comfortable in being in one position or being defined as one specific person. I think you'll find that going through high school, you're going to cringe pretty heavily at your past self. You're going to wish you did things differently in the past, and that's completely okay. But don't get too set in your ways uh, that you think that trying something new or trying to be a better person, trying to be a different person, is impossible. I think one of the good things about being a junior is that you come to the school and while you probably have a lot higher and a lot heavier workload than what you may have had academically in primary and intermediate school, you also have a lot of opportunity, a lot of wiggle room to try a lot of different things. I remember uh, when I was in year 9 and year 10, I was pretty much just like compulsively signing up for a bunch of random things that I didn't really understand that well, but I thought they would be uh, something interesting. You know, I signed up for the Westlake water polo team despite only playing in a very limited club basis uh, in intermediate school, signed up for things like the academic council, community of learning, etc. I think signing up for those things and getting involved in those things uh, really allowed me to develop sort of my skills as a person uh, and allowed me to meet a lot of different people that I probably wouldn't have if I stuck to my sort of more traditional orthodox academic pathway, which is what I think a lot of people may feel is set out for them. I think when you come into moving in from junior, uh, the junior school into the senior school, one of the biggest things that you're probably going to notice going into NCA is going to be things like workload. And I think while it's easy in the junior school to be able to uh, bounce around and do a lot of different things, when you get to the senior school it's quite important to try and find uh, what you're interested in and uh, try and settle on those things and try and do those well. I think Westlake is a school that has a lot of breadth and opportunity, but it also is a, uh, is a school that has a lot of opportunity uh, for depth to go deeper into things that you're more interested in. And for me, that meant uh, at the end of year 11, tossing up and eventually dropping water polo to focus more heavily on both like uh, academics and scholarship uh, and things like debating and service around the school. I think beyond that then, many of you are watch who are watching this have already made the right step in sort of becoming more involved in the Westlake community. Being a prefect is uh, one of the best ways you can be involved within the Westlake community, both showing yourself as a leader, but also showing yourself to be able to work well uh, within a team of other like-minded boys within your year. I think two pieces of main advice for me uh, if you're going out and you want to be a prefect is one, don't try and be a prefect, don't chase being a prefect, but rather try and be a good person, try and be a better person. There's a lot of people uh, within like school who, you know, they sign up for a bunch of like committees when they're in year 12 because they're trying to chase that sort of prefect badge. And I think while that could be a path that some people do take and it does work for them, I think you'll be far more satisfied focusing on things that you actually enjoy, like building strong, uh, relationships with people that you actually care about within the school community and in turn being respected by your peers. That is something that I think that you'll be a lot more um, passionate about, something that you'll care a lot more about once you leave Westlake and like go into the wider world. And I think secondly, it's important just to go in with these things that you won't win everything. Like 
being a prefect is something that's quite limited. Not everyone can get it, and there's going to be some people who are disappointed. So while, while I think it's good to have these sort of goals, don't define your entire self-worth or self-image to being a prefect, being up on stage, being a senior prefect, whatever it is. I think if you just try and do the best you can, try and do the best by as many people as you can, you're going to have a much better time at Westlake rather than trying to chase these sort of uh, whimsical goals that are very much out of your control. But yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in and I'm going to pass on to Lewis, our sports captain. Thank you very much. Hi guys, I'm Lewis. I'm the sports captain for Westlake Boys Senior Prefect team um, this year for 2022. Um, I'm 17. I'm also from the North Shore and uh, I am previously from Belmont Intermediate School, a, a small school, school on the shore towards the uh, Devonport area. Um, like Hunter said before, I am from a school that has not as many people uh, at Westlake. Um, it was an outer zone school, so it has, I only had around 20 to 15 to 20 um, friends that uh, came to Westlake with me. Um, I'm a keen outgoing sportsman. Uh, I've probably done sports all my life, or since a very young age. Um, since I can remember, I've been doing, getting involved in football, rugby, cricket, um, recently taking up cycling at uh, high school. Um, I'm a passionate cyclist that has uh, been working hard recently at a uh, high school level. Um, I was introduced to the sports uh, in intermediate but took it, started to take it seriously at a high school level and through the Great Westlake um, cycling team I've managed to uh, achieve quite high goals that I've been aiming for constantly. Um, I'm in a Roto house at Westlake. I'm, uh, been at the school since year 9 all the way through to year 30, my last year this year. Um, and throughout the school I've been trying to get into uh, knowing more people and finding new friendships. Um, as mentioned before, coming from a small intermediate school I've had to find uh, new friends um, and expand from my small friendships I had previously. Um, I've been in the Premier Cycling team for two years now, hopefully the third year this year and uh, was and started, did football um, in year 9 and 10. I uh, was a keen football player, part of the, uh, year nine, uh, the academy that we had at the school not long ago. My tip for judging uh, extracurricular sports and stuff is to keep things fun. Um, make use of class time as well. To balance work with exams and stuff, you need to use, make use of your class time. I, a thing I've caught myself doing a lot is a wasting time in class, chatting to mates and stuff, um, is losing a lot of valuable time which you could be used to uh, maybe put more time into training after school but limited because sometimes I leave it all to the last minute and I've been caught out a lot of times with late nights trying to finish internals and stuff. So a uh, big thing from me is to make use of your class time. Um, another thing is don't be afraid to ask for help. Asking your teachers for help is the most important thing. No question is a dumb question. Always, if you're not sure, don't, don't hide away from it. Make sure you ask your friends, ask your teachers for help because sometimes you may be led in the wrong direction, you may be wasting time on something you're not supposed to be doing in like an internal or an external. Um, a way to fit time in for uh, social life is have a schedule. Um, the thing I like to do is make sure I set little reminders to myself. So I like to try finish school work from 5 and then I like to go training from 5.30 to 8 and I like to keep time free on the weekends to hang out with mates. So if you're able to get rid of the uh, task of having to do homework and stuff while being productive in school time and making use of class, you have a lot more time to hang out with friends. So if you don't leave it to the last minute, if you're organised, there is no excuse to not having a social life at Westlake when doing extracurricular sports. Uh, my advice to young students is try different subjects. Don't do the subjects that your mates are doing, do the subjects that you want to do. Because subjects that you do here lead on to what you want to do at university. And don't be afraid to change subjects if you're not feeling right. Speak to your deans and make sure everything you do at Westlake is the way you want it. Um, another thing for me is make the most of junior years. When you get to year 11, year 12, year 13, there are a lot of exams and internals which keep you busy throughout the year. So making the use 
of your time in year 9 and 10 enjoying things that you might be limited not to do um, in later years at Westlake, such as um, football, making, trying to do lots of sports and lots of extracurricular sub, um, activities such as debating and finding a social club that you enjoy your hobbies. Uh, another thing is try hard in your education. Your education is important. So balancing education with social life with your sports events is important. So make sure that you give everything 100% all the time. Another thing is make new friends. You, you're always going to be split up from your friends at school. From, intermediate, from primary to intermediate to high school, you're going to have to make new friends. Same when you get into your job and later life, you're going to change locations. So it's good to learn how to make new friends and discover new hobbies. Come out of your shell from intermediate. Make new hobbies. At Westlake there's a lot of uh, new outdoor curricula and uh, extramural subjects you can do. So I'd recommend making the most of your time at Westlake with all we have to offer. Sporting, extra subjects you want offered at intermediate school. And make the most of high school. Hi everyone, I'm William Squire, your Westlake Boys Arts Captain for 2022. So I play a role in cultivating and preserving the rich culture found within our incredible arts programs at school. So firstly, I'm going to talk about my Westlake journey for a bit. So I came to Westlake most definitely for the education that I would receive, but arguably more so for the cultural opportunities I've been waiting to grab hold of my whole life. I've grown up with a fiery passion for music and arts for as long as I can remember, singing since before I could speak, uh, performing in musical theatre, and learning three instruments for at least seven years each. Uh, I don't intend to pursue music as a career, but I know for sure it is something that I will carry with me till I die, simply because I love it. I've been in five different ensembles for all five years of my time here at Westlake. Uh, rehearsals with voicemail, correlation, symphony orchestra, concert band, and symphonic band have functioned as an anchor, a grounding point for me to tether myself to every week of school. I've dedicated well over a thousand hours of my life to Westlake Music Groups, working every day to improve and always finding something novel and exciting to keep me eternally interested. Music is my passion and I can tell you wholeheartedly that Westlake is the place to be if it's yours too. But that's not to say that my Westlake music journey has been unproblematic. Like any workplace, there are people that you disagree with or don't get along with. Maybe they're a talented rival or have a different opinion on how that phrase should be played. That's life. You deal with it. You work around your issues, talk it through with them, focus on yourself, whatever you have to do to keep doing you. Of course, the much more significant stain on my time here in Westlake Music is COVID. We lost countless hours of rehearsals um, together through 2020 and 2021, and rehearsals are still being affected today. In 2020, all of our competitions and events were cancelled, so what little rehearsal we did have was spent working towards nothing. The outlook was incredibly bleak and we all felt it, but I think it's fair to say that as a school, as a simple group of people with a shared interest, we found a way to triumph through the thick of it. Though we missed out on going to Christchurch for the Big Sing finale not once but two years in a row, I don't know anyone who lost their passion for singing. Choirs are working towards this goal again this year, and right now. Though our original school production was cancelled, no one lost hope and quit drama. We ran a very successful socially distanced show to work around number restrictions. Though our instrumental tour to New York, Chicago and Washington DC was cancelled, I don't know anyone who dropped their instruments. Instead, we toured the North Island and found talent within other schools throughout our country. I mentioned that my role as arts captain is to cultivate and preserve the rich culture found within our arts programs, and I think that COVID has proved the existence of this culture 10 times over. The passion that Westlake has had for the arts is unmatched, and we find a way to deflect any spanners that are thrown in our works. And frankly, I feel honored to be a part of this culture. Our arts faculties are unstoppable machines that so many people find solace and motivation in. I've been asked if my goal was always to become a prefect, and yes, for me, it has been my goal for many years. I've always looked up to prefects and leaders within our school, really from the day I was born. You see, my Westlake journey started a lifetime before most others. Not only do both my parents and Art work at Westlake Boys, my mother, both grandparents and their siblings all went to Westlake. 
So, as a third generation Westlaker, I think it's fair to say that this school and its legacy runs through my veins, and I'm proud to represent us and wear our colours as a senior prefect. That being said, if you're a younger student, only looking at us prefects now to consider the opportunity, who's to say that you can't forge your path now? You are the master of the, your fate, you are the captain of your soul. So if you want to make being a prefect your goal, then do not hesitate. As a final word, I encourage everyone to find a passion. You'll never know how motivated and excited you can feel by being surrounded by something you love until you're there. So try something new and find people with similar interests. It will lead you to great things, I promise you from experience. I sincerely appreciate the time to share my experience with you. Thank you for your time. I'll pass on to Michael now. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Peng and I'm a Year 13 Prefect here at Westlake Boys. Unlike most of the other lads you've heard today, I'm not actually a Senior Prefect, but rather I'm, I'm just a regular Prefect. I think it's still really important though to just look, sort of like hear my Westlake journey, sort of like hear like what it takes and like that sort of advice I can give being just a regular Prefect and not a Senior one. Three things I'm going to be doing in my speech. Firstly, I'm going to be like outlining, outlining the journey of my Westlake journey since 2018. Secondly, I'm going to like offer sort of advice on how you can juggle study, juggle, juggle study with extracurriculars that you take part at Westlake. And thirdly, I'll be answering some like specific questions that we've had from juniors at the school. So my Westlake journey started in 2018. I came, in, came into the school as a small guy, as a year nine. I came from TNIS, that's Takapuna Normal Intermediate School, and even though that had about like 500, 600 people, which is more than the intermediates that other senior prefects have come from, coming into a school with like two and a half thousand high schoolers was still quite a daunting experience for me. I'll still never forget that time when I got completely lost walking to Year 9 Math and I showed up about 20 minutes late. So one of my top tips for juniors who are transitioning into Westlake and like how you can like benefit from the Westlake experience is just to quite simply get involved in as many groups as you can from like as early as you possibly can. It's never too late to start. So personally, since year nine, I've joined multiple music groups. I play the cello and I've also become part of the academic council, which I've been part of since I was a year nine in 2018. Another thing that I picked up in year nine that is one of the greatest decisions I've made at Westlake was to pick up open debating. I saw it on the daily notices and like I wasn't really too sure what debating was but like through five years, well this is my fifth year at Westlake, I've been able to like grow so much as a speaker, learn so much about the world and work alongside amazing teammates such as the previous Hunter Haynes you've already heard from today. So the things I picked up from my junior years have been extremely rewarding through things like music, I've been able to like develop my skills as a musician so much more and I've also been able to make like friends that I believe are like some of the best people I've ever met in my life and we all share super similar interests. What's really important also is the fact that I've stayed in most of these extracurriculars ever since year 9 up until right now as a year 13 prefect. So I just really want to stress the benefits of joining new extracurriculars that you might not even be like incredibly familiar with or if you just have like a small interest in any of them I highly recommend you at least give it a shot before just shutting it down. One of my most memorable experiences at Westlake came from being part of an extracurricular group. In 2019, as a year 10, I toured around Gold Coast and Brisbane in Australia with the Westlake Chamber Orchestra for an international music competition. Winning the grand award with some of my closest friends in like a completely different country as part of a school group, school group was something that I'll truly never forget and is something that is extremely memorable and something I highly enjoyed throughout my time at Westlake. As you would have heard from our cultural captain, the North Island Music Tour, which happened last year in 2021, was also a huge highlight for my Westlake journey. And I think it's super important that like, you get so many rewards from being part of various extracurricular activities. Now, juggling study with extracurriculars is something that all prefects have learned over four years. And it's a really important skill that's best learned as like, young as you possibly can during your Westlake journey. Personally, my top tip is to have like a weekly, weekly calendar in my room that just shows what I have before school, during lunch and after school. Because once you get involved in like many, many different extracurriculars, you'll find it's a lot easier than you think to forget what you actually have on each day and like plan times where you actually need to do your homework, where you need to do classwork or like 
dedicate time towards studying. So I think like before starting each school week, just looking at what you have on each day and planning times throughout your week where you dedicate towards your, just your schoolwork and studying so that you can, you're able to like balance your extracurriculars along with personal study time. That's something that's really important and goes a long way with your personal academic goals. And my top tip for younger boys who also want to be a prefect is quite simply just to bring like a positive energy to the classroom. You want to like make both students and teacher experience within the classroom to be like a better time. You want to help other peers and don't be afraid to uh, reach for personal help yourself. As you may have heard from our previous sports captain, no question is a dumb question. Once you've like, once you're able to like provide a more positive experience for both students and teachers, you're going to realize that you're going to be like rewarded with like improved results that you're looking forward to. Your overall time in Westlake is going to be much more enjoyable. And once you find something more enjoyable, you also tend to like focus better and do better as a result. Now moving on to the question which I'm answering, which is, was there a prefect that you looked up to from David in year nine? Now during my time at Westlake, I've looked up to several prefects in the past, but one that really stands up for me is Duncan Tolmy. Duncan was the 2018 academic captain, and he was, so that he was year 13 when I was year nine, and he accepted me into the academic council that I've now been part of for the fifth year in a row. Duncan was such a hardworking person and brought one of the most positive attitudes that like I've ever been able to see in any individual and he was just such a role model for me as a junior even after he graduated going through Westlake. He was also my student coach for my open debating team and he taught me very valuable skills that I still use to this day and he was always just such a friendly face to say hello to around school. So. In this speech, I've outlined my journey throughout Westlake. I've offered advice as to like how you juggle your study and extracurriculars, and I've also answered some questions we've heard from our year nines. Thank you for listening.